James Webb insane new discovery on Proxima B shocks the entire space industry. Imagine if you could travel to a completely different planet. Now imagine 5,000 more. Isn't that crazy? The James Webb Space Telescope will take us from the closest mysteries in our own solar system to the closest we've ever come to the origin of our universe. But in the middle lies the future of human society. If we survive the century, humans may settle in other strange new worlds beyond our quaint neighborhood. Welcome to Space Web, where it's time to reveal what the James Webb Space Telescope will reveal when its science missions target its instruments at alien worlds beyond our solar system. So pack your bags, or be left behind. According to NASA, the number of known exoplanets has recently surpassed 5,000 after 30 years. With the help of ever more advanced space telescopes, this stunning richness and variety of worlds has come into view. There are hot Jupiters that orbit dangerously close to their stars, as well as super-Earths, which are beefed-up counterparts of our planet. Rogue planets wander intergalactic space unattached to their stars, and other worlds exhibit evidence of habitable ability, implying that they potentially support extraterrestrial life. To commemorate the occasion, experts and fans selected their favorite exoplanets or exoplanetary systems from among the thousands of worlds available. Now let's discuss Proxima b a bit. Exoplanets, or planets that circle stars other than the Sun, are discovered at great distances from Earth. Proxima Centauri b, for example, is 4.2 light years away, or 265,000 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Proxima b was discovered four years ago by HARPS, that's the High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher, an older spectrograph housed on a telescope at ESO's La Silla Observatory in Chile. Scientists now have an updated, ultra-precise image of the planet thanks to this recent data. We are already quite pleased with the performance of HARPS, which has been responsible for the discovery of hundreds of exoplanets over the last 17 years, said research co-author Francesco Pepe, an astronomy professor at the University of Geneva in Switzerland and the person in charge of ESPRESSO. We are quite thrilled that ESPRESSO can give even better measurements, and it's rewarding and a just reward for nearly a decade of effort. A Dead Star's Worlds The first confirmed exoplanets discovered were Poltergeist and Phobtor. Using the Arecibo Telescope in Puerto Rico, Alexander Wolskan and Dale Frail discovered planets around a neutron star, a sort of dead star. Poltergeist and Phobtor were not only the first confirmed exoplanet discoveries by three years, but they were also the first exoplanets with Earth-like masses and the first multi-planet system, said Frail, an astronomer at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory. If you can build planets around a neutron star, they should be frequent around all kinds of stars, said Wolschken, a Pennsylvania State University professor. No doubt about it. Though Poltergeist and Phobtor were the first confirmed exoplanets, a very massive gas giant dubbed Tadmor was discovered in 1988 by British Columbia scientists. Tadmor's existence was contested for years, even by its discoverers, before being verified in 2002. Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield stated that firsts are always significant to him, which is one of the reasons Tadmor is his favorite exoplanet. Part of the reason I enjoy it is that the three Canadians, Bruce Campbell, Gordon Walker, and Stevenson Yang, discovered it and couldn't believe it, Hadfield explained. To me, it's because it's the first one. I think it's going to be the most historic and, at this moment, the most interesting, he continued. 7 in 1 The TRAPPIST-1 system is a fan favorite, with seven rocky planets and a location only 40 light years from Earth. The system, according to Lisa Kaltenegger, head of Cornell University's Carl Sagan Institute, has four planets in the habitable zone, the region around a star where liquid water may conceivably exist. Wouldn't it be fantastic to discover more than one habitable world orbiting a single star, according to Kaltenegger? Tim Pyle, a multimedia producer who worked on some of NASA's most famous TRAPPIST-1 visualizations, observed that the vista from these worlds would be strange. Having seven nearly Earth-sized planets orbiting a single star piques my interest, Pyle said, and they're so near together that they'd be stunning looming fixtures in each other's sky. Imagine resting on the deck of a TRAPPIST-1E ocean boat, looking up and seeing other planets as enormous as the full moon from Earth. Precocious planets. 
TOI 1233, a sun-like star more than 200 light years away, is home to five known exoplanets. In the year 2020, four of these worlds were discovered. TOI 1233 is an amazing planetary system with its large number of transiting planets, sun-like host star, and proximity to the solar system, said Tansu Dalen, a Massachusetts Institute of Technology researcher. Dalen discovered the technique with the help of two high school students, Jasmine Wright and Kartik Pingley. This system means a lot to me because it was my first hands-on research experience in astrophysics, said Wright, who is currently studying astrophysics and computer science at the University of Colorado Boulder. I've wanted to be an astronomer and work for NASA since I was seven years old, and discovering this system gave me that opportunity sooner than planned. Ping Lei, a senior at Cambridge Ridge and Latin School in Massachusetts, added that there was still a lot to learn about TOI 1233. It is an excellent candidate for follow-up observation, he remarked, referring to the recently launched James Webb Space Telescope. A Super Saturn, maybe? J1407b has been dubbed Super Saturn and Lord of the Rings because its ring system appears to extend as far as Earth is from the Sun. Androyan, who co-created the original television series Cosmos, a personal voyage with her husband Carl Sagan and is the creative power behind its two most recent additions, stated this planet had an impact on her. It was an indicator of what the variety of worlds could be, analogous to the variety of life, she explained. There have been questions raised concerning the first finding of J1407b. That appeals to Droyan as well. I like the thought that it may be there or could not be there, she says. It's the result of our 400-year-long tireless pursuit, our spiritual search. An ancient super-Earth. Kepler, a workhorse NASA space telescope that retired in 2018, discovered more than half of the 5,000 known exoplanets. William Barucki, Kepler's primary investigator, has a definite favorite among them all. Kepler 62f is a super-Earth located around 1,000 light-years away from Earth. It's in a livable zone. It is around the same size as the Earth. It may be a rocky or ocean world, he explained in an email. It revolves around a star comparable to, but older than, our Sun. Any life on the planet may be substantially more evolved because the planet and any life on it would or could be that much older than terrestrial life and hence be of special interest, he continued. Crazy Ex-Lava Monster in 2011, the Kepler telescope identified the first rocky planet, Kepler-10b. The planet is slightly larger than Earth in size and around four times as massive. However, because of its close orbit around its star, its temperature exceeds 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit, making it a nightmare world. I prefer Kepler-10b because it's the size of Earth but with a lava ocean, so I assume it's an alternate version of Earth with an alternate version of myself living on that planet," actress Rachel Bloom said. Bloom stated that Kepler-10b version of herself would be a terrifying lava monster that still likes show tunes, rather than the co-creator and star of the TV program, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. So close, yet so far. Our star's nearest neighbor, Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf in the three-star Alpha Centauri system, is only four light years away. Scientists have discovered three exoplanets, Proxima b, c, and d, which have piqued the interest of Sharon Shusong Wang, a scientist at Tsinghua University in Beijing. I believe that during our lifetime, we could see a mission actually traveling somewhere closer to the system to investigate the planets in greater detail," Wang added. However, it is unlikely that there is life on any of these worlds, but who knows? The universe likes to surprise us. Proxima Centauri b is the preference of Abel Mendez, director of the Planetary Habitability Laboratory at the University of Puerto Rico at Arecibo. Mendez stated that we should be able to see land and ocean areas with modern telescopes. Data on the atmosphere and surface features would provide convincing proof that these are truly habitable worlds. Two Hot Jupiters KELT 11b is a hot Jupiter discovered using the Kilodegree Extremely Little Telescope in 2017. The planet is important to Kate Isaac, project scientist for the European Space Agency's CHEOPS mission, which launched in 2019 because it was the observatory's first light curve, a measurement of a star's brightness that detects exoplanets. We were able to establish its size with an accuracy five times better than from Earth, settling the uncertainty in its size to roughly 4,200 kilometers, Isaac said, adding that it demonstrated the CHEOPS satellite telescope's scientific potential. 
Luis Calcada, a science visualization artist of the European Southern Observatory, chose Vega B as another hot Jupiter. This star, which is only 25 light years distant from us, Calcada explained, is important to Carl Sagan's novel, Contact. He stated that the book piqued his curiosity, prompting him to pursue a university degree in astronomy. Following that, I established a profession as a science illustrator. So this book, Carl Sagan and Vega, were all present at a watershed period in my life. So seeing a planet discovered orbiting it was thrilling. Small but fascinating. Will Wheaton grew acquainted with fantasy worlds and new types of life while working on Star Trek The Next Generation. He chose YZ Seti B, which is slightly smaller than Earth and circles a red dwarf 12 light years away, making it tantalizingly close for additional research. So, this was all about this video. I hope you like the information given in the video, and if you have anything on your mind, feel free to comment below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this. And also hit the bell icon to get the notification of the latest updates on the channel. And thanks for watching.